in my research I'm mostly interested in the question why are some countries poor and others are rich and why have some countries entered what we believe is a sustained growth path after millennia of stagnation and why have other countries not managed that and have been delayed in that transition. In the literature mostly demographic factors have been associated with that transi transition and I have worked on mortality and the question whether life expectancy makes people more likely to invest in education and that would bring about the economic transition. Currently I'm trying to dig a bit deeper and think more about in general is it the way people look ahead, plan ahead, to what extent are they forward-looking and patient enough to make investments not only in education or physical capital but maybe also in other factors that are relevant for these transitions, for instance, institutions. The paper that changed my way of thinking about long-run development was a paper by Odette Galore and David Weil, in which they shifted the focus from balanced growth to the transition from stagnation to growth, with, which I thought was a much more appropriate way of thinking about long-run development. And that way of thinking, in terms of nonlinear dynamics, has pervaded my research ever since. There are many open questions that are interesting. The one that I hope to be working on is related to the question how forward-looking are people? To what extent are they patient? So on a more fundamental ground that would be what are the consequences of patient behavior and what are the reasons for heterogeneity in patients within countries and across countries, across societies? And to what extent can these preferences or traits be changed over time? What are the stability patterns? That's, I think, a very interesting question. I'm Uwe Sunde and I'm a professor of economics.